So today we're gonna talk a little bit about cat scratch fever. And I have a little um, thing going on here. And um, I'm gonna cut the video so you guys can see it and I'll talk about it a little bit. But basically it's from Bartonella. I don't think I have it, but it's possible because I do have some of the symptoms, except I don't have any swollen lymph glands uh, anywhere, which is really good. But I did ozone. I did rectal ozone and have had treated the area with essential oils, a clove and a cinnamon. Very powerful. I've used it on a toe infection before too, and it turned out really, really well. Basically some of the um, simple, it's a bacterial infection um, from Bartonella, Hanselia, I guess that's how you say it. And there's another form. It's a uh, Quantana, Bartonella Quant uh, Quantana, Quintana maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, if it's that important, just look it up on on Wikipedia. But basically, you'll get a malaise in the body, a decreased appetite, aches, maybe headaches, chills, muscular pains. Any kind of, it seems like it's, it's kind of spreading throughout the body, creating inflammation, hitting joints and different tissues, like joint pains, arthritis, backache, abdominal pains. Most cases are benign. They'll just go away by themselves. You don't have to even treat them. But in some cases, they, you will get these big, you know, swollen balls in your lymphatic glands. It could be like, let's say, if the, the, the cuts over here would be like, you know, around here or here or here, or it could go up here, for example. And um, let's see, um, the rare complications, it can affect the heart. Endocarditis can affect the brain, seizures, swelling of the meninges, uh, this different disorders of the brain, and the eyes. Some people have it. I, I suspect I've seen this before, where I see some older people, or people that have immune uh, compromise, or, uh, compromised immune systems where they'll get this kind of swelling and, 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 and redness around the eyes kind of droops. Uh, so conjunctivitis, optic neuritis. So get it checked out, something most people don't know about. You know, the cats are cute, they're beautiful, but they could have stuff in their claws. Um, other animals might have it too, but this is more for cats for some reason. So, um, you know, generally that's who we're around. We're not hanging out with raccoons and possums and stuff you know cats are cute we like them we pet them and it, you know they kind of get you so um there you go cat scratch fever